boys and girls. Did you celebrate Pancake Day last week? Did you know that Pancake Day is also called Shrove Tuesday? This is the day before Lent begins and Lent is a time when Christians start preparing for Easter. Lent lasts for 40 days, the 40 days before Easter begins. And in the past, Christians used to give up food like eggs and milk and sugar. They used to stop eating that for the whole of Lent for those 40 days. So what they would do on Shrove Tuesday, the day before Lent began, they would use up all of their sugar and their butter and their milk and their eggs and they would use them to make pancakes to get rid of them all out of their cupboards so that they wouldn't eat them for those 40 days. Sometimes now Christians still give up things for Lent. Perhaps it's not milk and eggs and sugar, but they might give up chocolate or they might give up a type of drink or they might give up one of their favourite treats and they won't eat that or drink it for the whole 40 days. And then at Easter, they can have it again. So people still nowadays make pancakes though to remember and to celebrate this time, the start of Lent. Okay, so that what they do is they make, make pancakes in our country. That's what they do anyway. Because do you know around the world, they do different things. In Sweden, which is where we've got family, they don't have pancakes for Pancake Day. In fact, they don't call it Pancake Day. They call it Fat Tuesday. And what they do is they have these very special buns called Semla buns. And it's like a little bun with some cream on the top. And they have those at Pancake Day. And then there are different things that people do all over the country, all over the world, I should say. And if you have a look at the pictures, the slides that I've, I've attached to your activity today, it will tell you more about ways that people celebrate in different countries. So anyway, pancakes are my absolute favourite food. They are, the, I really, really love them. I don't, there's nothing more I like than pancakes. So I thought we'd make some now. Right, let's have a little look. So to make pancakes, you need eggs and flour and you need milk and then I've got a little bit of oil in my pan here ready and we, uh, we can make a pancake. Right here goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in some flour. Now I'm going to get a spoon. Hmm, hang on, I'm going to get a spoon from down here. Let's see. I wasn't very prepared there, was I? Right, I've got a spoon and I'm going to put some spoonfuls of flour into my bowl. I'm going to put one, two, three. That should be about right. And then I'm going to crack an egg in. Here we go. Let's crack in that egg. And then I'm going to use a fork just to mix all of that together, like this. My egg into my flour. Give it a good mix. There we go. Almost there. Okay. And now I'm going to pour in some milk. In a little bit of milk. I'm going to use my whisk now to whisk it all together. Let's do a big whisk like this. Okay, this is looking good. Right. Fine, one stir. We don't want any lumps in it, do we? Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. There we go, that looks good. And now I can get rid of my whisk. And I've got my frying pan. And I've put some oil in it already and it's nice and hot. And I'm going to get my ladle and I'm going to put in some of my pancake mix. Here we go. I always find that the first pancake never turns out very well. Let's see how it goes today. And I'm going to get my spatula. Let's have a little look. There it is. Handles come off it. Have to use it like this. And it's just starting to fry in the pan. So we just have to wait a couple of moments, don't we? 
So while we're waiting, I can tell you what I want you to do for me today. I want you to draw a picture of a pancake. So you'll need to do a big circle on your page. And I want you to draw on your favourite toppings on your pancake. Mm, I just like lemon and sugar. Um, I've got my lemon over here. Ooh. Let's see, here's my lemon ready. And I like some sugar on it too. What do you like though? Perhaps you like strawberries and Nutella, or maybe you like bananas and cream. Whatever you like, I want you to draw it onto your pancake and then I want you to label it. So on your pancake, you could write bananas or you could write strawberries or you could write Nutella or you could write jam, whatever it is that you like the best. Okay, don't worry about your spelling, remember. I just want you to listen to the sounds. Listen to the first sound and then chop it up and write down all the other sounds that you can hear. And it's a really good practice, that. Okay, my pancake's coming along nicely now. And then, as an extra challenge, what you could do is you could cut out your pancake all the way around it. So we've not used scissors for a while, have we? All right, here it goes. Now, I wonder if this is going to work very well. I'm going to just see if I can loosen it at the edges. Here we go. I'm just getting stuck, this one. I told you the first ones never work out very well. There we go, loosen it in the middle. Ooh, almost there. Right, mm, it's broken up a little bit. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. Can't wait to eat it. There we go, and I'm going to. Oh, it broke. It broke up my first pancake. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? The second one will be better. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back and the second pancake is looking much better. Here we go, I'll show you in the pan. Can you see that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to let it cook for just a couple more minutes, fry it for a couple more minutes and then I'm going to have a go at tossing it. It'll be better than the last one. The last one was a disaster. Right, here we go. Are we ready? Let's have a go at tossing. Here we go. One, two, three. Woo! There we go. I'm sure that your grown-ups had a good go at tossing those pancakes on pancake day, didn't they? Okay, and if you didn't have pancakes on pancake day, perhaps that's something you could do this week. You could have a go at making pancakes at home. Right, I'm gonna leave you to it now. Don't forget to do that pancake design for me. I can't wait to see them. And don't forget to read more about pancake day and see how it's celebrated in other countries too. All right, bye everybody.